it's very concerning the amount of individuals who love to specialize in game playing and clout chasing, especially when it comes to these shows. I believe that our let who is the host of Pop the Balloon, her and her husband, they, you know, produce this show. I think she has really good intentions, but I think when individuals come on these shows, just like when they go on Kendra and a lot of these other shows, the goal for a lot of these individuals, they really could care less about relationships. Just really want to highlight today some of the behaviors that women are doing that are really blocking them from having successful relationships and even being seen by men who would potentially pursue them. The things that they're saying in response to the men, they're not serious. Not all of them, but a large portion of women that I have seen, they're really not serious. And also there's a good amount of men, a lot of men on, the sh on these shows, they play games as well. But I want to talk in particular about Angelique and James. They are on the most recent episode of Pop the Balloon. And y'all, the entire episode was wild, especially Angelique, because about the third person in, we already knew. And even before then, we already knew and had a sense that Angelique, she could care less about establishing or meeting someone to potentially establish a healthy, positive, meaningful relationship. So let me stop running my mouth. Thank you guys for tuning in. Name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Angelique. I'm 32. Um, I'm Angelique. It's my birthday. I'm Angelique. Um, Women are gonna women, you know, we're gonna do what we're gonna do. And I think for a man to make a comment about the things that we do, makeup, hair, lashes, like I get that it's not your preference, but let women be women right? or don't date us. Mm. That was very interesting what Miss Angelique said here. I'm all for preferences. That was problematic. And the piece that is so problematic in this is that it is okay for women to have preferences but men are not allowed. And this is not just this episode. This is anytime you see any of these types of shows, it's the women, it's, it's fair game for them. It's open season for them to, you know, state their preferences. And a lot of the times their explanation or them saying what their preferences are, in my opinion, also comes across as insults and disrespect. But nonetheless, I'm all for individuals saying what it is they do and do not like or will and will not tolerate. You should know who you are and you should know what it is that you value, whether it's from a physical perspective, from a moral perspective, from a person's character you should know exactly what it is that you will or will not you know stand for tolerate whatever where do we draw the line between a preference and just being pure unreasonable and not just that the penalizing of men for being and expressing and having a preference I would never want my sons I have two sons preteen sons I would never want my sons to feel it is feel as though when they're out here on the dating scene that they have to switch up what it is that they value when it comes to the woman that they're going to see or a woman that they're dating basically she's saying men shouldn't be in women's business and the issue that i have with this is that again it's perfectly fine for you to say i want a man that's six feet tall i want a man that you know he has his hair a certain type of way only women are allowed to have a preference. Whereas with men, it becomes you trying to take something away from our femininity. Now he did say he doesn't like lashes. And I would even argue that he probably did not like, it's not that he didn't like the lashes, it's the volume of the lashes. Y'all get the lashes that are on 3D volumes that barely open your eyes. You're on the border of having a you know, pink eye, staph infection in the eye because the lashes are so thick and heavy. I've seen women with some nice, beautiful, natural sets of lashes. I think that those are perfectly fine. But if a man says that it looks like, and he actually said this in the episode, like you look like you're gonna take flight at any time because the lashes are so big. Now, again, are there men who will probably like those type of lashes? Probably so, it probably won't bother them. And if you like to wear the lashes, so be it. But it's perfectly fine for a person to state what they they do and do not like as far as the look. The same thing with the makeup situation. I have literally had men 
who have been in my comment section or we have had a live stream and they are in my comment section. A lot of men say that they don't like the makeup at all. A lot of men are saying it's not that we don't like makeup. We just don't like excessive heavy makeup to the point where you don't even look like yourself and you have contoured your face every which way to the point it looks like you've gone under the knife or you look like a drag queen. And I've even been hearing a lot more women speaking out about that as well. Like they don't like the heavy cake up, you know, drag queen makeup. If you like that look and that's your business, maybe you will meet a man that appreciates that. And you probably will. But in terms of when a man expresses what he does and doesn't like, if he say he doesn't like the wigs or we, it's, or the man may say, it's not that I don't like a wig, but if you're going to wear a wig, at least wear a wig that looks like your own hair. And then here we go with the attacks. Men are in women's business. And then she says, well, if you were going to come on here and say that, then you might as well not look for a woman. But see, that's a point of deflection. And that, again, goes back to he's on the show looking for a woman. If you want to dress like that and if women don't want to hear the feedback from men, then who are you wearing these things for? Huh. It's obvious that you all are not really putting these things on for men. You are really putting it on for yourself and which is nothing wrong with that. But you, you, in my opinion, it's counterproductive to say, you know, I want a man that, you know, he has a certain type of look, a certain type of hairstyle that you might prefer. And it doesn't mean that a person can't change their hairstyle or a person can't switch their makeup looks. But if a man is out the gate saying, Hey, I would just prefer my woman to have more of a natural look to her makeup. I'm not going to sit here and say, I don't want a woman that don't wear no makeup or I'm trying to interfere with the woman's choice of how she wants to put herself together. I would argue most men don't care about that. But a man has every right, just like we have every right. If you don't like men with bald heads, then guess what? That's perfectly fine. I would probably argue that a lot of men would not be offended by that. Now, there was a point in the show where James was talking to another young lady and she had on those like tall, kind of like suede looking flat boots. And he said he just didn't like the boots. Personally, I think there was something else that he didn't like about her physically, but he just defaulted to the boots. And, and maybe he really didn't like her style, which in my opinion, that's petty because you can change the boots but if you liked everything else about her as far as her attitude her responses as for the other things that he was looking at i don't think he should just throw her out for the boots right you can get a new pair of shoes right but i just think that men are allowed to have preferences just like you are counterproductive to go on these shows say you're looking for a man and then give them grief when they express what their preferences are it just doesn't make sense than done. The reality is that a lot of these individuals who come on these shows, they are not here for good faith measures and F to dating, um, especially this woman in particular, Angelique, in my opinion, she came on the show because she wanted her 15 seconds of fame and she wanted a viral moment. She went through this entire group of men holding onto the balloon and then popping at the end of almost every single man it was just ridiculous wasting people's time why would you be on the show and not understand that you're going to get some type of critique then about when a man says something that we don't like because we see ourselves in a certain type of way which is perfectly fine i'm not also saying that you should not have confidence like but at what point are we going to really as women sit back and absorb the feedback that we are getting so that way we can put some things into consideration saying she should go home and thaw her makeup out and her lashes hey we all gonna do what we want to do and depending on the outcome that you want we are typically going to either two things we're going to either wallow in pity and blame everyone else or we're going to make the necessary adjustments in order to attract uh, the type of potential partner that we want. And that's just that. And we are all entitled to our preferences. You can express your preferences, make them plain and clear without disrespecting the other individual. Let me know what you guys think about my commentary, this video, this clip. You got anything else you would like to add to the to discussion? Please drop it down in the comment section. All right. So I thank you guys for tuning in until the next video. Peace. Bitch, you think it's small.
We need to be thinking big. You need to be thinking big, bitch.